it Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out some blushes. I have, I think, a very similar video that's going to be going up soon quite like this because I went on a bit of a blush spending splurge and I just wanted to test them out on camera for you. So today I'm going to be testing out the e.l.f. putty blushes. Putty? Putty? However you want to say it. But um, yeah, I can't actually remember exactly how much these were, but I will get to that in the video. But yeah, if you'd like to see me testing out these blushes, then please carry on watching. So these blushes are £6, which is, I just think, quite a good price. I got these from Superdrug, so they were actually on three for two at the time. So I actually only technically paid for two of them, which is kind of why I got three. They say, lightweight, buildable, putty to powder blush blends seamlessly into the skin. Gives you a flushed from within glow. I got three shades. So I got Tahiti, Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, Chaos? <laughs> However you pronounce that, I'm really not too sure. And yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna first get out Turks and Caicos. I don't know how you pronounce this. That's really annoying me. But I think I'm gonna swatch these to decide which one to use. I don't know whether to try and use maybe a combination of the two, because I would like to use more than just one. So that is the first shade, which I would say is definitely a, like a pinky salmon-y colour, and probably the most, I want to say, natural out of all the ones I've picked. I'm going to try, and this is super, super creamy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show swatches very well. Not super, super pigmented. There we go. Can you see that shade there? It is very, like, more of a sheer creamy texture. I did a video reviewing the Nude Sticks blushes and they were super, super pigmented. Whereas this one is more creamy and sheer. I don't know if that means it'll be a bit more buildable. Just try to put a bit more on. It's kind of like blending in as I put it on my wrist. So yeah, that is that shade. I think that's really, really pretty. Um, which one should I do next? I might do Bahamas. Cause I think this is the shade I think I'm gonna love the most. I have a feeling as it's more of like a peachy tangerine oh my god I just feel like in the summer this shade will be absolutely gorgeous that is Bahamas is that is that the shade that I've just watched you know what the only annoying thing is they don't actually put the names on the packaging so once you've thrown away your packaging you kind of just have to guess but that is Bahamas there oh that's such a lovely orangey shade I really hope that picks up on your face that colour because it just looks gorgeous. I've got Tahiti which I was kind of hoping would be like a reddish berry colour which I have been loving and I kind of want more reddy blushes because I just think in the summer and especially with a tan I just think it looks super super pretty. So there we go as you can see it's a bit more of like a berry tone a little bit like it's a pinky red still it's not like a red red i was kind of hoping it would be a bit deeper than the orangey one to be fair is it deeper i think it's kind of like a darker version of the top one but i do also really like the shade i think that's super super pretty i don't know if those shades are picking up on camera so there we go those are all the, the shades i think i might zoom you in now and attempt to put some of them on my cheeks <laughs> what shade are we thinking i think for today just for testing purposes, because I just think it would be the best way of testing the most of them out. I actually think I'm gonna go for the two pinky shades. I'm gonna start off with Tex and the light pink one, basically. I'm sorry, I just can't, I just can't pronounce it. And what I think I'm gonna do is do this on both cheeks. I'm gonna use a sponge and a brush. And then I might pick another shade and do it on top because I think that way I can sort of test out two different shades. So I think I might do sponge first let me just get a mirror so i'm just going to dip in with my really dirty beauty blender i apologize oh do you know what the only thing i hate about doing this you get all like the beauty blender hairs in this and it actually upsets me i don't know what does anyone else do but okay i'm just gonna cover and i'm just gonna go in on this cheek <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That is quite pretty. There's not much there, is there? I think I might pick up a little bit more. Do you kind of, it's a nice flush of color, but I do just want a bit more build up than that. I think I'm gonna go in with a brush on the other side and see if I get a little bit better payoff. Ooh, that's a little bit better brush definitely picks it up a lot more. To be fair, I was kind of expecting that because 
I mean, that's just the experience I've always had. Like a brush just packs on a bit more than the sponge. Yes, I much prefer that. Okay, I might go in on the other side with the brush as well, just to even out a little bit. There we go. I also went in with my finger a little bit there, just because I actually think using your finger also really works well with these as well, because they're so sort of creamy and sheer. I think the finger works really well with these. I probably wouldn't recommend using a sponge because honestly, you don't get much color out of that. I think next up, do I wanna go more orangey or pinky? I wanna go more peachy, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm gonna go with Bahamas. I still don't really like that it doesn't say the shade name on the packaging. That annoys me a little bit, but it's okay. I might go in with the brush first and see how we go. slightly gone a bit overboard with the blush <laughs> just a little bit okay I'm gonna do the other side as well so there we go that is my blush I hope it's coming off well on camera I actually really, really like it I think it did take quite a bit of building up it's definitely not a blush that like as soon as you put it on you can see the colour you do need to build it up for quite a while I want to say you have to work quite quickly because it does it's a cream to powder blush so you can't just sort of put it on and then wait for a while you do need to blend it out quite quickly because I did notice whilst blending it does start to dry a little bit but I mean as long as you're fast enough it's fine and I actually really liked all of these shades. I possibly think the Tux and whatever this one's called is quite of a light colour. Like I said, when I used a brush and I used my fingers, it did build up a bit. But personally, this shade is quite light. And I don't know if there's any shades that are lighter than this, but they possibly wouldn't show up as much either. So I'd actually probably say I was quite scared to pick up like the darker shades but because they're quite sheer don't be scared honestly you can just buy the bold bright shades because they blend out into nothing if you want them to um basically so yeah i'd say just go for whichever shades you want i think this one i'm gonna like as well so i think these two will possibly end up being my favorites and i just feel like it gives you that like it says like flushed cheeks glow um, so yeah, I really, really like those and I think for £6, completely worth it, especially if you can get them on three for two, because then you're just saving math money. <laughs> so there we go, that is the end of my review for the e.l.f. Putty blushes. I definitely recommend them. I mean, if you can buy these over a high-end blush, like, they're just so good and honestly I'm really glad I bought these. I'm always open to adding to my blush collection. <laughs> the fact that I got three of these, I am glad that I really like the formula and... Yeah, I just love how creamy they are and buildable. The fact that you don't put on too much too quickly. I definitely would be interested to get some more shades, but I think like the Bahamas and the Tahiti are absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!